Hello everyone, today I am going to share my experience playing Batman Arkham City on Linux. It's the second title from the Arkham series, so let's start with a quick overview of the game. Batman Arkham City sets one year after the Arkham Asylum incident. There, Batman was trapped inside the asylum. Here, the Bat is now trapped inside Arkham City, a super prison inside Gotham. There are mysteries involved around the super prison and Batman has to find the answers and as you may know it, he always does. The game now offers better and more fluid combat, more skills to choose from, and more Riddler trophies to collect. Blah. The story though, not as compelling as the previous game, it still offers great plot twists, drama, action, and more. It's a great follow-up to a then-growing franchise that will give you one of the best Batman experiences a game has to offer. Now let's move on to how my gaming experience went with Batman Arkham City. Playing the game on my Manjaro XFCE machine was a breeze. It was a smooth experience overall and it didn't even crash. I played the game for 10 hours straight and I didn't encounter any stuttering, audio crackling, bugs, or crashes. I enjoyed the game all throughout the main plot and even did the DLC part where you get to play Robin all in one day. It was a great experience for me. I even forgot to record some benchmarks because I was seriously enjoying the game. I was able to make my benchmark video right after I uninstalled the game and installed it back again. Talk about being stupid, right? Thankfully, the game just takes 18GB of storage and I was able to fit it in my SSD. The game still separates the settings menu and the main game. So if you are experimenting on your settings, you have to do a lot of restarts. Main Gohad also worked well in this game with no additional settings needed. If you are concerned about your FPS, temperature, and frame times like me, you can go ahead and use Main Gohad without any hassle. Overall, my Linux experience playing Batman Arkham City was great. I did not even notice that I experienced no bugs, no stuttering, no audio cracks and whatsoever. I have a decent hardware and played it smoothly without issues. Amazing port, equally amazing game, and a great Linux gaming experience rolled into one. So how's the performance? As I've said in my experience, the game runs smoothly. But it's the same old Batman Arkham game with an FPS cap which is 60. Realistically, you don't really need that 100 FPS goodness in this game, though it would have been nice if it was capped a little bit higher. The combat still feels fluid and the animations are great. The contact between Batman's punches and the enemy's faces is satisfying, and enabling Nvidia's physics engine in the settings menu won't affect the performance anymore. If you want to know how the FPS went on every setting on 1080p with physics turned on and off, head on to my Batman Arkham City benchmark video, flashing the card right there. So how do you play it? Steam is still the easiest way to play the game, though I used a custom proton build in order to play it, namely Glorious Egg Rolls Custom Proton. To use it, go to the project's github page, which I'll put the link in the description, and download the version 5.9-GE-8-ST. That's the version I used to play the game. But if the latest and the official Proton version works for you, then there's no need to use a custom one. In order to use the custom Proton, don't worry, it's really easy. It's just a matter of cutting and pasting and extracting. Now, cut the newly downloaded file from github. Go to your home, your username.steam root compatibility.d and paste the file there. If you don't want to type this in, you can just show the hidden files and folders in your home folder, since folders that start with a dot are hidden. Afterwards, just extract a file. If Steam is still running, just restart it and after that, choose the custom proton by right clicking the game. Go to properties and check force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Find the version from the list and you're good to go. The users at ProtonDB rated the game with gold and it's an accurate one. With some users having no issues using the old Proton version and some others like me used a custom one. With that said, the game runs absolutely fine once you're able to launch the game. And that's about it. That's my experience playing Batman Arkham City on Linux. I hope you enjoyed the video, thumbs up if you liked it, comment down below if you have any thoughts and suggestions. Questions are welcome as well. Subscribe for more Linux gaming content. Good day to all of you and stay safe.